Belmont fans and supporters came out in full force to cheer the men's basketball team onto a 72-67 comeback victory over UT Martin. It's nice to be home. I swear there's some kind of magic in here or something because our students are great and I mean we seem to knock down you know big shots when it counts and win close games in here so I mean we love being at home and we can't thank our fans enough. Sophomore Evan Brads, who leads the NCAA in field goal percentage, led the Bruins with 22 points and 10 rebounds on the night. We don't have a lot of presence inside, and uh, and if we're going to get good looks from the three-point line, we've got to have some guys that can score it inside, and he, he did that for us. Belmont guard Craig Bradshaw notched five of the team's early points, and minutes later drained a three to give Belmont a 15-9 lead. After the Bruins extended its lead 21-16, the Skyhawks would put together a 16-0 run with less than two minutes to go in the first. Bradshaw was already in double-digit scoring at the half with 10, but the Bruins still trailed 32-23. I think we had great bench minutes, and I want to start with Evan Brads. I mean, without his big double-double and just scoring the ball in the post and, and getting all those rebounds, I mean, we're not, we don't pull that game out. But then you got guys like Jeff Ladig knocking down big shots, holding Mobley tough on the board, Spencer Turner, big first half three. I mean, it was a team effort, a collective effort, and it was a great win. I think Craig made... He made the two technical foul shots and then made the three right afterwards, which kind of pushed us out to where we never lost the lead. The junior guard finished with 21 on the night. The Bruins sealed the deal at the free throw line and beat the Skyhawks 72-67. For Vision Sports, I'm Emily Proud.